Hi all, today I am going to show a Sri Ganesha mural. Uh, first draw an outline on the canvas and take uh, aluminium foil and then uh, you have to draw even on A4 paper. Take the size of A4 paper of and uh, then just uh, cut aluminium foil and then crush it slowly as I am showing now. Gently open uh, foil because uh, the aluminium foil is very uh, delicate, uh, there is a chance of tearing it so gently open it and uh, just uh, spread it like this. Then after that what you do is take uh, A4 paper. yeah now uh, we have done uh, like we have done an outline on the a4 paper right so this triangular rectangular part which we have already done just cut it cut that part with a scissor and then what you do is take aluminium foil which we have already crushed and kept aside take that foil and this A4 paper place it on that and then just take sketch pen and draw an outline like line so that we can cut it easily uh, you can use scissor or a paper cutter to cut this I am using like I'll, I'll give a stroke of a line with the paper cutter then with the help of the scissor I am going to cut it Just be careful because the foil is very delicate. With the help of the scissor, just uh, separate those, separate that uh, rectangular part. Now take canvas, this is the canvas board which I am using, now apply fevicol on the background, just leave that area, Ganesha area, the rectangular part and apart from that the rest of the area you just apply fevicol or fabric glue, it's up to you, apply and then just uh, paste that aluminium foil on that. If you don't have aluminium foil what you have to do is uh, apply uh, fevicol and then crush the tissue paper and then even you can stick it like this you can also try that or one more thing you have to spread fabric glue lots of fabric glue and then just dab it with the fingers you will also get this the same texture okay now uh, the three uh, ideas I gave one is uh, like uh, sticking with aluminium foil then the second one is uh, with the tissue paper crush the tissue paper and then do it then the third one is uh, like pour fabric glue on the background and then just dab it with the fingers you you will get the texture like this and let it dry keep it aside Now take a mold it and then just mix it properly. One is resin and hardener as you many of you uh, know that. Mix it with the palm so that it uh, it will be faster and then uh, make a flat base take the help of the talcum powder and use brush or any tool to make a flat uh, base. And before that uh, you just take the cardboard and uh, 
cut the size of that rectangular like uh, part which we have already cut it and kept it separately see this part the cardboard size and then just apply glue and paste uh, the molded base which we have already done uh, make it a very thin uh, base and uh, remove the extra part with the fingers and then apply glue to the sides even okay do it neatly then after that uh, yeah apply glue and uh, paste it properly and then after drying we can see that the whole base as if the whole base is made up of molded okay no one knows that we have sticked cardboard inside that right now uh, to get it very straight what you do is take the yeah take the help of the powder and just press it slightly with the thumb and with the scale so that the corners will come very straight take the help of the scale and thumb and then just do it properly yeah our uh, the base is ready now keep it aside <laughs> make a thin coil like this as i am showing now now uh, apply fevicol or fabric glue then paste that coil to one side of uh, the slab which we have already done then uh, cut the excess part then take the uh, yeah make two balls with the molded apply glue and then just paste it and give two uh, strokes with the paper cutter as if it looks like a screw if you see it's a plus sign on that Yeah, till here we have done and now you take a refill and with that refill the back side of the refill just press it on the coil so that we'll get a round type texture on that just do it like this now after that make a circle with molded and keep it aside and draw ohm with the like a pencil or any sketch pen then make a thin uh, coil and then just uh, apply fabricol on that and then just paste it Now our ohm is done, just uh, press the uh, like edges so that it looks uh, neat and then to the right side of the uh, like first we have to do the borders, take a scale and uh, paper cutter then just draw a line like drawing in the sense just press it with the paper cutter so that we will get a line on that uh, board and now will give v shape texture on that like a border to that slab let's do it on all the sides with a paper cutter Now the borders has done uh, we gave the texture and to uh, give the texture inside the slab just uh, press tightly with the finger so that it uh, won't be a, a smooth uh, base okay we have to get a 
like texture part here and there if you press with the finger you can just observe on the slab then apply a fevicol on the right side of the corner and then just paste a ohm circle there and then uh, make a coils and then just uh, stick it as I am showing now see here we are going to stick it after that okay yeah now again I am mixing the molded draw two lines with the help of the scale uh, for to hang the belts and for the chain now take an aluminium foil and then uh, give it in a triangular shape and make two balls with the molded and uh, just make it flat with the help of the brush and then just uh, stick it there and give a nice shape like this with the fingers and use talcum powder if your fingers are sticking to the molded Make thin coils and apply uh, glue and then stick it to the belts for the edges and then make two balls and even like uh, stick it down. Yeah, as I'm showing now, and uh, we are going to give texture on that by using pencil and pencil or pen or uh, like paper cutter so we'll be giving this texture here. So after giving texture on the bells, we are going to, uh, yeah, I'm using the refill also. Yeah, after that, we are going to make a thin coil with the molded. Yeah, just see it properly. Uh, two coils we need for this. Then you place it uh, besides each other and the left finger like you know the finger should move opposite direction if the le left finger is moving downwards the right side uh, index finger is moving upwards so that we can get the uh, like you know a rope uh, design with the molded then apply glue and then uh, stick it near the hanging uh, part wherever we have marked with the sketch pen then later on uh, bells also you can, you have to stick now we are making a lotus uh, make seven balls for petals and then just do it a drop shape Press it with the fingers. With the help of the fingers, you can uh, do drop shape and keep it aside.
now after this uh, seven petals we have done now after this take aluminium foil make a small ball and then uh, apply glue and then just stick it so that we will get an uh, emboss effect after sticking those petals apply glue all over and then here and there you do small balls of aluminium with aluminium foil and then just uh, stick it as i am showing now then first we are go we are going to paste back side petal first remember that first we are going to paste back side petal like this you need to stick After that make three balls and make a flat base for the leaves and to give the texture on the leaves uh, take a paper cutter and then just uh, uh, give a stroke of uh, mid rib and wings on the leaves Yeah after that just bend uh, the leaves here and there to get a natural look and make a coil so uh, with the mold it again so this uh, this is a reference for reference i am uh, sticking this make that paper and then wherever uh, wherever uh, there is a letter shri there then just uh, see and uh, i'm not sticking uh, once again i'm telling you i'm not sticking on a4 paper now uh, we have done the coil so that is the reason i'm measuring that and uh, i have done there i've cut that uh, two matrices of uh, letter c then uh, we are going to uh, stick stem with the help of the glue and then uh, stick uh, leaves as well there with the help of the glue excess part you just cut it with the paper cutter now this is done now here for the reference i am like you know keeping the mold it on the paper and then just uh, seeing the size of the letter then excess you can cut it Now make a small ball give the texture press it with the refill and uh, with the pen to make that circle and now i'm doing 
uh, ear just draw the shape of the ear and uh, just cut it my mold it is very hard so that is the reason i can easily cut it with the scissors yeah just i'm seeing the size there so uh, like uh, yeah you lift those petals here, here and there so now and then so that uh, it looks it gives a nice look now the crown part yeah after this yeah the size is done correct after this you give texture with the pen and take pencil it it depends upon you whichever texture you want to give it's up to you you can also give yeah with the rest of the mold it uh, i have done a thin coil and then just giving a whole texture with the pen on that now i'm taking a pencil uh, my pencil is blunt so that is the reason the holes are very bigger than pen uh, nib then i have done two uh, lines with the paper cutter then if you have uh, any tool you can give texture lines texture or curves or whatever you have i gave these lines with the tester after the texture part is done you take uh, a four paper which we have already done uh, right so just keep it on the slab and then uh, press your pencil yeah press your pencil so that we'll get an impression on that slab so accordingly you can stick or otherwise if you feel that it's very difficult you can uh, trace with the yellow carbon and then just uh, trace it and then accordingly wherever it's required you just apply glue and then stick it this i'm not sticking because i want to uh, like you know uh, see yeah now we came to uh, our uh, background see i'm coloring whole background the texture part the aluminium foil texture is there right so that part i'm coloring with black yeah add few drops of water so that uh, you can easily move your brush so the uh, like leaf flowers like uh, this flower and leaves leave that part and rest of the area you have to color with black and even the rectangular uh, part which we uh, left with uh, ganesha face and uh, the letter she that part you have to leave except these two you have to color the whole thing with black done with the coloring and uh, wait till half an hour let it dry then afterwards i am taking a pearl color the blue shade of pearl color if you don't have pearl color uh, you take ultramarine blue and then add little bit of white to it so that uh, it uh, becomes a lighter shade take sponge and then uh, just uh, dab it okay 
dab here and there and uh, here and there not like you know thick uh, color you should you should not color a thick layer on the black uh, background okay just you have to dab it here and there as i'm showing now Yeah, after that uh, dabbing is done you take a uh, pearl metallic gold and give dry brush strokes on the bell and the hanging thread you two uh, coats so that it looks very neat first coat after giving first coat let it dry then again you have to give the second coat right for the bells and even for the threads or chain whatever you say yeah done now after that uh, yeah it is done now we are going to take green color and we are going to color the leaves it's a light green it's not sap green if you want to color both the shades you can color sap green and light green and even a touch ups of yellow here and there on the leaf color leaves and uh, stem with green color it's up to you you can uh, do with sap green also it's your wish And after leaves uh, we are going to color the flower uh, take pink color and add little bit of white to it so that we'll get a light pink shade and then just color the petals if you are comfortable with flat brush just go on with that or if it's very difficult uh, for you all then uh, do with zero brush a round brush number zero you can also do with that Now after this we are going to color the mid part with the light green just color it and then uh, give dots on that with yellow color
after that uh, take white color and draw like yeah the yellow color gives strokes here and there to the stems and the leaf to get a nice uh, look then after that uh, take white color draw one line one side the edges of the petals and then give a dry stroke for the whole flower and after that you take that slab which we have already done just color it black color whole thing with black not whole thing you uh, leave that tree letter except that the whole part you need to color with black just do it as i'm showing now now then coming to the flower uh, the outer part the outer line just take white color and give dry brush strokes inside so that it gives an effect for the flower just do it like this first outline then with the bra dry brush just give strokes inside Yeah, this uh, after coloring with black, please let it dry. Then take brown sienna, brown color, and add orange to it. In the video, you can't see like you know we are not able to see the shade of wood color, but uh, in natural uh, like you know when while we are doing, it gives a wood effect and dab it with the sponge. Once again I'm telling you take orange and add brown to it so that it will give an wooden look for our base dab it with the sponge If you feel that the color is little bit dark add a drop of white to it so that it uh, becomes a lighter shade then then uh, like not lighter it it's it's looking uh, brighter than the uh, like which we have already mixed just add one drop of white and then uh, continue dabbing it wherever uh, like brush is required with like the same technique dabbing technique you have to use and then uh, just color it with the brush like don't uh, give strokes you just dab it use dabbing technique and then you have to proceed it yes And after that i have started giving a uh, like you know dry brush strokes on the coil which we have already given a texture but uh, like i don't i didn't feel like it's looking very nice it's not giving a look uh, like antique look so that is the reason once again i'm coloring that foil and those two uh, round shaped circles which are looking like uh, screws with the black i'm coloring it and after drying i'm going to give a, a dry stroke with gold uh, gold color right meanwhile we are going to color these uh, coils and uh, the letter shri with white color just be careful while doing it take triple zero brush or any uh, like zero or double zero brush and do it
and now I'm going to give a dry brush strokes with the gold, a pearl metallic gold on the texture which we have already done. Right? Yeah, see now it's looking an uh, antique look. Before uh, the base was with orange, so that is the reason I didn't like that. So again we have given a black coat again and then we have done. Now take red color and color this like paint this own with red color. And after that take triple zero brush and give fine lines on the circle like a texture which looks like a texture Now we are placing just see the placements and uh, mix mold it again. Once again I am uh, telling you just uh, take half of the mold it. Then if it's required then you can mix uh, another half. Uh, yes now we are going to do the face part. Now teeth uh, drop shape for the teeth and keep it aside. Then now we are going to do a face part and trunk and with the help of the aluminium foil we will give a nice shape for that and then apply glue then we will paste it. Just do it like this with the aluminium foil. Now we are going to cut only the face part right face and the trunk. Yeah. Now apply glue on the paper and then just stick that aluminium foil and with the moulded take a flat base do a flat base just take uh, with the like uh, Sprinkle some powder, talcum powder on the base and then just do the slab. Okay, apply glue and then just stick it on that. The extra part, you stick it and press it properly to get a fine shape, nice shape with the fingers and take help of the talcum powder now and then so that mold it may not stick to your fingers and turn it backwards and then start cutting it. With the scissor or with the paper cutter whichever is easy for you and press it uh, nicely smoothly to the edges yeah use scissors or paper cutter and press it smoothly with the fingers now this is done now either you paint this face or trunk part and then you can stick on the base which way we have already done or we will paste it and then later on we can color it that it's up to you either of the thing you can do now I have pasted this face yeah now I'm going to stick the teeth part now crown just uh, before sticking the crown what i'll do is i'll color the crown with black color and after drying it we are going to give a pearl metallic gold uh, dry brush strokes okay after drying yeah i'm sticking now then the ear and make a small ball of mold it stick it and after that on the top of it 
you have to stick that circle uh, part which we have already done yeah now make small small balls five balls now we are going to do a hibiscus flower this is where it's like very very small miniature flower which we are going to do now this is the stem which i have already done now make uh, five like hibiscus flower will have five petals right so make five five balls small balls and then uh, just uh, press it with the fingers and give the texture with the paper cutter See, give the shape like this and then just give the texture with the paper cutter and then give a uh, press to the edges and give a uh, fine shape to the petals yeah this way you can do it and now i'm not sticking this flower on the paper i'm just uh, seeing the like you know wherever placement i'm seeing this yeah wherever it's required how to stick and all i'm just keeping it and then yeah done now this is the stem part and the center part of the flower i'm going to make a very thin coil and small small round so according to the flower you have to do the circles now these circles are big so that is the reason i'm removing once again i'm, I'm making very small small balls and keep it yeah do six or seven or small balls like this and keep it aside and after that what you do is you color these uh, yeah now apply glue on the cardboard like slab which we have already done right and then just paste it and uh, with the rest of the molded i made a thin coil apply glue and then just paste it to the like edges of the slab which we have already done then give the texture with the refill or like you know whatever texture you feel like to do we are done with it now i am giving the okay the small balls i am doing the rest with the rest of the molded i have done with small balls and then just pasting near the crown and the face edge part and i'll take a pencil and then just give a whole type of texture to that and even to the on the top of the crown also i took a sketch pen cap and then pressed it and give a texture flower okay then make uh, holes with the pen yeah now you can paste it see with the refill i am giving the texture to the coil which we have already stick to the edges of the that base yes after that you have to we are going to color it with black and then we are going to give dry brush strokes with pearl metallic wool right now for the face we are going to color skin color okay just color skin color Let's paint it what i have already said is you can also paint it and then stick it or you can stick and then paint it's up to you it's your your choice then the ear part also you have to paint it then yeah it's also done just color properly to the sides also 
then give uh, strokes with the black uh, lines take triple zero brush and then give like fill everything with black first and then we are going to give strokes for the ear right with the black first fill this with black so that meanwhile it gets dried and later on we can give dry brush stroke with the pearl metallic gold now color the teeth with white now we are going to color the hibiscus flower After that just give dry brush stroke with pearl metallic gold to the crown. Then draw fine lines on the ears with on the ear with black color. Done. Now we are going to Yeah, finish it neatly. Then apply a glue near the trunk to stick hibiscus flower which we have already colored. Then this is uh, very cool. Yeah, now stick those small small circles balls which we have already colored with white. Take the help of the pencil or pen and then just ad adjust it neatly. Now you have to color or you have to draw an eye with the black color. Then fill the eye part with white and uh, just give a dot. Yeah, now fill the eye part inside the eye with white and after that keep a dot with black yeah now after this yeah done with our article hope you all have enjoyed this article and yeah now uh, we are going to no 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 we are going to we have to uh, draw three lines on the forehead with the red color take red color and then we will proceed it yeah now take red color then draw three lines on the forehead of Sri Ganesha yeah now our article is done hope you all liked it please like share and subscribe if you are seeing my channel for the first time and this is what our article is after drawing Hope you all enjoyed. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.